your weather rate certified most accurate forecast fox 54 weather it was another record-breaking afternoon across north alabama southern middle tennessee the official high temperature at the huntsville international airport was 84 degrees this afternoon that breaks the old record of 83 set back in 2005. we're going to maintain that warmth as we head into the overnight maybe a few clouds across the area but otherwise a mostly clear sky temperatures only dropping into the low and mid 50s i've got a low right around 54 degrees fantastic weather for the kids when they head off to the bus stop tomorrow morning we don't normally get to enjoy this at least the kids don't normally get to enjoy this uh, in early november so I hope they really do enjoy not having to wear a jacket out the door. 55 at 7, 57 by 8, 60 degrees by the time we get to 9 o'clock. Plenty of sunshine tomorrow morning. We're going to maintain that sunshine as we head into the afternoon. Slight changes in our weather pattern means uh, it's going to be a little cooler tomorrow afternoon. We're not going to be talking about the 80s, but temperatures are still going to be above average, hanging out in the low and mid 70s. We're going to mimic that as we head into Thursday. A slight increase in the amount of clouds across the area on Thursday, but uh, still temperatures climbing into the low and mid 70s. All good things must come to an end and I consider this warmth a very good thing and it is certainly going to come to an end. By the time we get to Friday afternoon, we're looking at a cold front. Cold front back off to our west. On the back side of that cold front is an insanely cold air mass that is going to move into the Tennessee Valley late Friday night and then through the weekend. I'll show you that insanely cold air mass uh, graphically once we get to the seven day. Here's what this looks like on Futurecast. Not a lot of rain associated with this cold front. Maybe an increase in cloud cover, but not a lot of rain. If we end up seeing any rain on Friday, it's going to be thanks to this area of low pressure. Now, this area of low pressure is going to end up being the remnants of what is currently Tropical Storm Nicole. Could bring a little bit of rain to the Tennessee Valley, primarily for our friends along and east of the I-65 corridor. We're not the only ones that are going to be talking about an increase in cold air. As a matter of fact, almost the entire continental United States is talking about an 80 to 90 percent chance at seeing below average temperatures during the period November 14th through November 18th. That actually gets us beyond the seven day forecast. Let's talk about the tropics. There is tropical storm Nicole right now. Nicole has sustained winds of 70 miles per hour. Looks like it's actually going to strengthen into a category one hurricane uh, before hitting the coast of Florida. From there, it'll continue to weaken and then head up the east coast. Now, the Artemis launch was supposed to be on Sunday night, but in light of what is currently tropical storm Nicole, NASA has decided to go ahead and postpone that launch, obviously for uh, the safety of everybody involved with that launch. They're going to try again on November 16th. So uh, fingers crossed. I had actually bought tickets to the Space and Rocket Center or got tickets to the Space and Rocket Center watch party. I guess I'll try again. There's your 72 on Wednesday, 74 on Thursday, 71 on Friday. Do not forget Friday is, of course, uh, Veterans Day. And then we head into the weekend. There is that insanely cold there. Just 53 degrees on Saturday. We're going to go from 71 uh, to 53. Those of you that uh, suffer from migraines, be mindful of that. 71 to 53 quite the change in temperatures 48 on Sunday lower 50s Monday and Tuesday of next week looks like we're going to start Sunday and Monday in the mid and upper 20s that's all I got for you this evening 